welcome back to the Firefly Studio. This is Gina. I want to welcome uh, all my new subscribers and say hello to all of you who have been with me for a while. Um, today I thought we would revisit the book pages uses and I've just created this really simple little notebook. I've done these in the past but this one I've just adapted um, just so that we can use it for uh, book pages and how you could create this and I think they come out really cute and again you know you can add uh, the, the ones I've done in the previous um, tutorial I used the Tim Holtz images so you know just adapt it to the supplies that you've got but I thought it'd be really fun to just go ahead and um, use up book pages to do this one so the first thing you're going to want to do <clears throat> is get yourself a couple of book pages and glue those together. Um, depending on the weight of your page, um, two was enough for me because you, you're going to have it. It's just something to tuck in, in our junk journals. So two was enough for this. And what I did was I ran that through. This is the Tim Holtz um, large die. You don't have to have the die to do this. You could just make this like a rectangle shape. You don't even have, or you, you can just cut it out by hand. It's, you know, don't worry about that. So once that is, you know, your base, this is, that's what this is. is this is going to be your base. Uh, but let me grab my paper here, guys, so we can start inking things up. Um, that's going to be the base. And then you're going to want to measure, and obviously, Whatever size you've cut out, it's going to vary. But I decided to do my papers a quarter of an inch in, which took them down to 275. And then I think I did them around five and a quarter, something like that. So what I decided was five pages, I think, seemed to be enough. Because, again, this is just another little embellishment to put inside our journals. So I took five pieces, cut those down, just mix them up. You can use book pages on this as well. And then um, <clears throat> I'm going to sit those over and then the next thing <clears throat> is I'm going to take the um, Edith Holden page and I'm going to just cut that in, just <clears throat> just inside the size of the, um, you know, that tag. And again, just whatever book page you've got, because you can add images to it. So don't worry if it if it's if you don't have the Edith Holden, because I know they're not that easy for some people to get their hands on. So. So I'm just laying that sheet of paper because I know that that's the right size and I'm just going to tear that again along the bottom edge there. And that's that's going to create the cover as you can see here. And then what I did was came back in with two more layers of book page. Um, Now, if you've got some, maybe some scrapbooking paper that you'd rather use under there, absolutely do that. Um, as I said, I'm just trying to come up with things for people who maybe are just starting out and don't have a lot of supplies. And then maybe some of you who, you know, maybe you are starting to now struggle to get supplies. So, so we've got that. Let me go ahead and ink this quickly. Because <clears throat> I was just about to glue that down before I've inked it. Okay. 
I'm going to bring that, uh, I'm going to actually tear that down a bit more, guys, just because I want more of the Edith Holden showing. Yeah, I like that. Okay. So I'm just inking around it. You don't have to do this. It's just the look I'm going for with these. And I'm just going to put a little bit of glue in the center. If you're not going to be sewing this, you will need to glue this all the way around. But <clears throat> I know that that's going to go through the machine, so I'm just putting it there just to hold it in place. So <clears throat> what I'm going to do on this one is I'm going to take this image here. I really like that. But another example... Again, this is the Reader's Digest um, complete. Let me see. Complete Library of the Garden, and that has got some beautiful uh, floral images. So the next one I'll probably be doing. I'm thinking I'm going to use this sunflower. That's a beautiful image. But I'm just going to carry on doing these today, I think, guys. And. Um, I've got a journal to share with you after I've done this, so you'll probably see another um, video from me again today. And then after that, I'm going to be starting to work on um, elements for my journals um, and just see, see what comes about. Yeah, I really like that. And I've saved the little name because I'll come back and layer that as well. And you can put lace between these if you want. Again, for the look I'm going for, these will be going into probably some nature journals. Um, <clears throat> I tend to keep my stuff a little bit more rustic than, you know, that's just kind of my style. But you can add just as many embellishments and lace to these as you want. Um, the other ones, and I will put the link <clears throat> in the description box to the previous ones I did with the Tim Holtz um, photos. That will give you another idea of how you could um, take this because, as I said, you can do so many different styles depending on, you know, the look you're going for. Okay, guys, so now what I'm going to do is go to the machine and I'm just going to run stitches around here, another layer, probably about three layers of stitches on the <clears throat> outside of that. And then I'm going to stitch that. Get your papers all together. Oh, let me ink this. I didn't ink the base of that. Such pretty pages from that Reader's Digest. I really, I mean, that right there is, is a beautiful tag on its own. Um, but then I'm going to run a stitch along the top to hold those together, and then I will come back and stitch that again. So I'll show you that in just. Okay, guys, so as I said, your cover, go ahead and sew that. So that that's all done, and then now gather up your little pages, and then just take that over. And if you're not confident with sewing those together, run a stitch to this first. But um, if you've been sewing for a while, just I would just run it through all together <laughs> because I that's just I just try to make things easy. So got it together, run a stitch, and then I'll be back. We'll finish this. Okay, guys. So what I did, I took and ran it through twice just to make sure it's holding it all very secure. 
And so now you can do a few little stamps on there. Um, you know, embellish it as much or as little as you want. Now I have gathered up a few things. This seam binding I'm going to put. Now the other one, <clears throat> let me just show you what I did here. I went ahead and punched out two holes to run that through, but because the way this one laid, I thought, well, I'll just go ahead and keep the hole that's already there. So again, you know, thinking about that, you got different ways you can add the lace and trim to it. I kind of like the two um, holes with that run through. I think that's really sweet. But this one, I'm just going to... <coughs> I've got this piece of lace, and I want to add just a little something. Actually, this one I think I'm going to add up there because I've got the words. Oh, I don't know. I'll put it down there because that's a little bit plain. So I'm just going to cut out a little bit of this fabric because it's got the green. Tear it, cut it, whatever. Um, just want to add a little bit more color, and then I've got a button here that I'm going to stitch to that. So yeah, I think this is what you know. Just try to stay focused on. I did some tea dyeing yesterday. Um, if you've been following me, you know that's not my favorite thing to do. <laughs> So I thought, oh, heck, I better just go ahead and get on with it. So, yeah, I'm just going to um, carry on with getting as much, you know, dyed as I can. And then hopefully work on a few more of these. I've got my art journal already um, sit out with a few things. And I thought, oh, I'll, I'll try to play in that a little bit. So, you know, just just trying to get myself organized on uh, things to do during this and um, just hopefully it'll all be over soon. So it's this little button was kind of a fat button. I mean if you can see how thick that little button is, but I just thought, oh, it's really sweet. <laughs> I want to use that one. Okay. So, let me get this cleaned up so you guys can have a look now. They're very simple. Like I said, you can embellish them as much or as little as you want. I personally like them to be very rustic, but you can take them to the next level if you wish. Check out the um, in the description box, I'll put the other um, tutorial where I created it using uh, more laces and things. So I hope everybody is well. Take care of yourselves, and I'll be back again soon. But guys, bye!